Hey, third grade. Today you are going to get a big gray sheet of paper. Yours might be a light gray, it might be a dark gray. Um, just depends on what uh, paper you were given. I mean, you can see that mine's a light gray. I'm going to put my name on the back, Mr. Calvert. Make sure to put your class code too. So if you're in Ms. Kelleher's class, you might put a 3K. Okay. Um, I'm putting it up in the corner, so I'm actually going to use the back of my paper to sketch out a couple ideas for my Richard Serra design. Um, so something that you might want to do is maybe just draw a line across the middle like this. This is the back of my paper. And then I'm going to create a design up here. I'm going to create a design down here. Okay. Um, when you create your design, I would think about whether you want it to be geometric, whether you want it to be organic, maybe you want it to be a mix of both. So something that's geometric typically has a lot of straight lines. Um, typically, when we think of geometric too, we think of shapes that have names, squares, triangles, rectangles, circles. Yes, I know circles don't have straight lines, um, but it still has a name, so we would call that a geometric shape. So I'm going to do a design that's geometric inspired. Well, maybe I'll do something like this. I'm just going to use lines and shapes. I'll do like a zigzag. Notice I'm keeping everything kind of big though. Like if I wanted to do a spiral, I would have to keep my, actually I'll show you a spiral in the next design. So maybe this is one of my designs and maybe this would be my other design that I want to look at. So if I want to do a spiral, I couldn't do a spiral like this because it's too tight, okay? The lines are too close together. When we do our sketches, things are going to have to be kind of loose, okay? They're going to have to have some room to them. Like if I want to do a spiral, I could go like this. That would have enough room. So maybe I want this one to be more organic shaped. And organic is like squiggly lines. Well, this be a really long line. Okay, so there's one. This is my organic, this is my geometric. Maybe you want to do two geometric designs. Maybe you want to do two organic designs. Doesn't matter to me. So I'm going to take, my, take a look at my two design, designs and decide which one that I actually like the best. Now, I personally enjoy geometric designs typically, but everybody has their own opinion. Okay, so that might mean I'm going to decide to choose this design. I'm going to redraw it on the other side of my sheet of paper, nice and big. Now, you might have to fudge your design a little bit. Okay, so maybe you end up with some extra room or you think you can add some details that might not have fit before. Um, let's see what else they look like. Add this long diagonal line. Okay, I still have some open space though because I went from that kind of small sketch to this big sheet of paper. So I can probably actually add some other things in here. Maybe I'll go like, maybe I'll add a shape in here this time. And I'll do another triangle up here. Okay, so that's a pretty good line design for my Richard Serra project. Okay, after you have your two sketches drawn out, the reason we're sketching out two designs is a lot of times our best idea isn't always the first idea we get. So I want you to kind of come up with two ideas, then you can kind of decide on which design you like better. Flip it over and enlarge it onto that big other sheet of paper, or on the big back side of your paper. And then you're welcome to start adding the walls to your Richard Serra project. Now your walls are gonna be made out of these brown strips of paper. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by kind of measuring these lines. So if I'm gonna do like this big L shape, I'm gonna kind of measure. You know, I could measure it like this and I could snip it right down here where that line ends. Or I could even fold it and see if it goes that far. Okay, so my line isn't quite long enough. It's pretty close, but not quite. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure this along this line. I'm going to snip it down here. Okay, so this line now matches up. I'm going to turn my paper. It's a little bit easier to work with. And something I can do is to make my wall, I'm going to cut these little snips in it. All the way down my paper, my little strip, 
Don't cut all the way through your strip, about halfway through it. Okay, and now I'm going to fold every other one. So I'm going to fold one, skip one, fold one, skip one, fold one, skip one. Like this. And I can flip it over, and now these ones that I skipped are going to get folded the other direction. Like this. Okay, so it gets almost like this zipper pattern on the bottom. All right, kind of weird looking. I'm going to put just a little bit of dotted glue on the bottom of each one of these. Don't miss any. Okay, and these can get glued down to my sheet of paper. So I'm going to line it up with the end of that line. And I'm going to slowly work my way down to the other end. Okay, I can't just really just stick it on there. I kind of have to go bit by bit by bit. Otherwise things start to move around and um, don't really like to go where you want them to. Actually this one could slide a little bit. Okay. So that is glued to my sheet of paper now, and it creates this little wall that actually pops up off of your paper. Um, I could take another strip of paper and I can measure out that other end like this. Okay, I would snip that and make sure it lines up at the bottom here. So let's do that actually. Snip it, give it those little cuts, and then I'm gonna fold it. So snip all the way down. Fold it, and dots of glue on the bottom of each one of these. Doesn't take very much glue, literally just like a dot of glue. And I can glue that where it belongs, lining it up. All right, if you have a long strip, maybe you can do a shape all with one. So I could take a look at this triangle and I think I could actually make this triangle all with one strip of paper. Just measured all of its sides. So I could lay that out again. So it's going to bend here. That's going to bend here. Okay, same thing. I could cut those snips. Do my folds, glue it down. Okay, if you do an organic design, it's gonna be a little bit trickier because yours is gonna kinda um, have those wiggly lines that kinda go all over the place. Um, I'm working with geometric lines, which are a little bit straighter and easier to glue. Okay, but you can definitely do an organic design. Don't let that dissuade you just because it's a little bit tougher. All right, you guys probably won't finish today. That's totally fine. We're gonna spend more time next class working on these. Okay, so start off by making two sketches. Then decide on the sketch you like better. Transfer it to the other side, nice and large. And then you take your brown strips and begin to um, create your little gray, or excuse me, your little brown walls, okay? Um, I'll talk to you guys next week. Have a good one, bye.